We're going to talk to Wayne Madsen about that, as well as the 9-11 conference that he was at. Of course, we've had the money bomb for the last couple of days. We have now extended those specials. We are going to extend that until we hit our goal of a million dollars. Thank you so much for supporting that. And we are extending as a thank you to you free shipping through midnight tonight, as well as the discounts on the products that we have at InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, of course, one of those is Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine. We still have that as a 15% discount along with the free shipping. That's our Ultra Pure Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine. Harvested from deep earth crystals, 8,000 feet below the earth's surface. We're bringing this ultra-pure, ultra-powerful iodine to you at the most affordable prices out there. And it's even more affordable now. 15% off, free shipping. This will sell out this weekend. The elite know that you need iodine to live. That's why they took it out of the food supply. That's why we're buying up iodine supplies around the world. And we're making that available to you for your health and for your preparation. Now is a good time to stock up. Free shipping. 15% off, it will be out of stock this weekend. We've already run out of stock on Deep Cleanse and Super Mail as part of the Money Bomb specials that we've offered on our site. You'll also see Brain Force and Silver Bullet for 20% off. You'll see Oxy Powder and Secret 12 for 15% off. Let's go to, and again, that's InfoWarsLife.com. Let's go to uh, Wayne Madsen now, and uh, thank you for joining us, Wayne. Hi, good to be with you. Tell us about uh, the 9-11 conference that you were speaking at uh, last week. Well, the theme of this year's conference, and it was in New York at the uh, West Park Presbyterian Church on the west side of Manhattan, um, and uh, it concentrated on uh, these 28 still classified pages from the Joint Congressional Inquiry on the Failures of uh, Intelligence uh, Before 9-11. Now, the former chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Senator, former Senator Bob Graham of Florida, has urged uh, the administration to release these 28 pages, as have a bipartisan uh, group of senators and members of the House, including Senator Rand Paul, Senator from New York Kirsten Gillibrand, Senator Ron Wyden, a Democrat from Oregon, and on the House side, Republican representatives Walter Jones, uh, T Thomas Massey uh, of Kentucky, and uh, Democratic representative Stephen Lynch of Massachusetts. And um, look, the, the release of these pages is not going to solve the crime of 9-11, but it's certainly going to start opening up some doors uh, to uh, allow 9-11 researchers to proceed with the, uh, what, what the 9-11 uh, Commission failed to do was investigate the reasons and the cause of 9-11. All, all they had to offer was what the country had to do to uh, further uh, destroy our, our Bill of Rights, our, our yes. constitutional rights. So uh, it's a step. It's a step in the right direction. Some people think it's a diversion. Uh, that was not the theme at the conference. We, of course, heard from uh, author um, uh, and and uh, Professor Lance DeHaven Smith from Florida State University, who of course has done an awful lot on uh, not conspiracy theory, but as you mentioned earlier, conspiracy analysis, and uh, he considers these types of crimes to be called uh, that he calls them state crimes against democracy or SCAD, S C A D. Um, so. Precisely. When we have them selling us a national security state, which has become a religion post 9-11, you know, yesterday was Constitution Day. I tweeted out, Wayne, I said, you know, we, we enacted a, uh, a constitution, a declaration of independence to declare our independence from kings. But post 9-11, our rulers used that to publicly shred the Constitution and declare their independence from a rule of law. If they are going to do that, here we are 14 years later, they won't tell us what they said they did wrong. We can't know right. about that. But right. we're supposed to trust them. We're supposed to turn over all of our freedoms. We're supposed to overturn and destroy the legal system. We're supposed to overturn and destroy law enforcement that we used to have in this country to the however they say to do this because they just invoke the magic words of national security. I talked to Thomas Drake, who's one of the NSA whistleblowers, and he said, look, before 9-11, they were deliberately telling people, downplaying any 
uh, any intel that they would get about terrorism. They didn't want them looking at that. Now, we can draw our own conclusions about that. He's not going to draw the conclusions for people, but he will tell people what was going on with that. They were deliberately downplaying it, and then immediately after 9-11, they play that up to completely remake everything. We need to see what they don't want us to see. That's one of the key things that has happened, of course, has been the secret government that doesn't tell us anything that they're doing. We don't have a right to know anything about what our government is doing, whether it's trade treaties. We're not stakeholders anymore. They've made that very clear. We need to see what their so-called incompetence is, even if it's their official story, because we've seen lie after lie after lie in their official conspiracy theory. Right, and and we also heard from uh, John Perkins, who, of course, his seminal work, uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman, uh, really exposed the deep state. And he spoke a lot about what uh, he used to be involved with on behalf of the Wall Street bankers and the Central Intelligence Agency in overthrowing foreign governments and suggested that's absolutely what occurred on 9-11. So uh, th this um, uh, sort of discipline... Uh, uh, of of research is is starting to I I, I think uh, go it's going mainstream. The other uh, important thing is uh, the presidential candidates are starting to uh, they're starting to ask them questions about where they stand on releasing the twenty eight pages. Apparently, Carly Fiorina was asked, and she said she's in favor of it. And uh, Jeb Bush, of course, was asked about it, and he said he didn't know what the uh, twenty eight pages were. Uh, <laughs> I, I, of course, we would get that from him. He, he hasn't really come clean on what he what he was doing on 9-11 himself when he was... Uh, Ask him where his brother himself. Marvin was, okay? Yeah, yeah. Well, Jeb also wants Margaret Thatcher on the U.S. $10 bill. I think uh, yeah. uh, Jeb, Jeb is uh, very confused and once again shows what happens when there's a lot of incest in a blue blood family from uh, originally from Connecticut. Well, you know, Wayne, he said, uh, Margaret Thatcher goes, well, of course, that'd be illegal, but what the heck? And uh, right. as my son right. said, yeah, since when has the law ever constrained anyone in the Bush family? That's that's, that's well, not even I mean, a joke he, anymore. I mean, that's the reality of it. You know, they call him, as he said, they, they call me Jeb. I earned that. Uh, that was, I thought, the best line from the very first GOP debate. I, I still want to know, and that would be the question I would ask him, is that what does it mean to be a Jeb, and how does one earn that title? <laughs> well, right, and he won't even use his last name. He uses Jeb with an exclamation yeah. point following. Yeah. It sort of reminds me of that, uh, the guy, uh, the, the rock star who came up with this weird uh, symbol, and he said, I'm, I'm the rock star formerly known as Prince. So I guess Jeb is the... <laughs> politician formerly known as Bush. That's right. Well, we all know why he would want to avoid that last name. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with Wayne Madsen. We're talking to Wayne Madsen. I want to get back to Wayne and ask him a little bit more about the uh, 28 pages. I want to get his comment on what Jeb exclamation mark said the other night at the uh, GOP debate. Uh, before I do, I was just handed this uh, note by Nico, our producer, there is a Flash show special that we're doing. In addition to the free shipping, we're now doing a show special, and that is 25% off Survival Shield X2. I just uh, put that out there as 15% uh, off. They've increased that to 25% off of both Survival Shield X2 and DNA Force. Again, X2 is our nascent iodine, super high-quality nascent iodine formulation harvested from 8,000 feet below the Earth's surface. DNA Force is an exclusive antioxidant formula loaded with the compound BioPQQ, which is backed by 175 clinical studies. Both of those are available at 25% off at InfoWarsLife.com. That's a show special. And again, that is with free shipping. That is part of our thank you for your support over the years, uh, part of our Money Bomb specials. Uh, Wayne, when we had the, uh, the debate the other night, one of the things that they were talking about, of course, was the decision to go into Iraq, which everybody can look at right now and pretty much understand was a big mistake. Everyone except Jeb Bush, that is, because Jeb Bush defended this and he says, you remember, here's a quote uh, from the transcript. You remember the rubble, uh, the rumble, I think is what it says. It says that on the transcript. I don't know. I'm assuming he's saying the rubble, uh, but that might be a Bushism or it might be a typo in the uh, transcript. You remember the rumble or the rubble? He said, you remember the firefighter with his arms around it? I guess that's rubble then. He sent a clear signal that the United States would be strong and fight Islamic terrorism. And he did keep us safe. My brother did. 
<laughs> Do you think he kept us safe, Wayne? Or have well, we I, become much, much more at risk with what's gone on in the Middle East as well as what's gone on in our own country? The overthrow of the rule of law, the militarization of the police, the destruction of the Constitution and the legal system, all of those things have made us more dangerous, in my opinion. I, I would imagine you would agree. Yeah, well, Jeb, of course, has been opposed to the legalization of marijuana in the state of Florida. Yes. Probably because he wants more of it for himself. It sounds like <laughs> he's smoking a lot of it because I, I don't know how in the world this guy could say his brother W kept us safe. And, and using the, uh, the, the symbology of the collapsed uh, World Trade Center uh, is not the way to say that his brother kept us safe because his brother ignored <laughs> repeated warnings about the terrorist uh, yeah. attack. Uh, we yes. know that from, uh, from from a National Security Council uh, documents and, and all kinds of reports beforehand. So And the stand down uh, of NORAD on that day. I mean, they had a complete collapse of all the systems, so his brother kept us safe? You know, yeah, uh, his that... brother was re was uh, more interested in my pet goat at a, in a second class, second grade yeah. class in Sarasota, Florida, if I yeah. recall correctly. And and uh, basically, uh, uh, you know, when Dick Cheney said, "Don't come back to Washington until later on in the day," Bush, who for, <laughs> I guess forgot he was commander in chief, decided to go hide in a hole in the ground in in uh, outside Omaha, Nebraska. So. Yeah, he wasn't uh, asking, where's NORAD, you know, for 100 minutes. It's like, hey, wh you know, where are the NORAD planes? No, no, you know, that's one of the things that uh, uh, Gore Vidal said. He said, uh, of course, related to Al Gore family, his, his dad was highly connected in uh, the military, had set up the NORAD defense system. He said, I knew there was something phony about this because they didn't scramble any planes for an hour and a half. Nothing happened. I mean, obviously, this was a stand down, and obviously, these failures were not only a obvious lie. He can't defend the lies of the Bush administration to get us into Iraq. Even if you start with the lies about 9-11, going to Iraq was another set of fresh new lies that they piled on top of that. Absolutely. And, and this is why uh, people like Bush, uh, Jeb Bush says, uh, what 28 pages? He knows full well what's <laughs> in those 28 pages. He knows it points the finger directly at, at Bandar, Prince Bandar, the Saudi ambassador, to Washington during 9-11, who was so close to his family, the Bush family, they called him Bandar Bush. Yeah. Uh, and when and when you open when you peel back that onion uh, layer, you're gonna find out not only was Prince Bandar involved, but other key members of the Saudi government. And Lindsey Graham sort of who's opposed to the release of the 28 pages, kind of slipped up uh, a couple of weeks ago when he said uh, release of those pages would would uh, put our relationship with our allies, use the plural term allies, in the Middle East region in jeopardy. Well, from what I've gathered, and of course nobody can talk about what's in the 28 pages, members of Congress can't even take notes. No, oh, there you go. Uh, Yet again, we see that. Stay with us. Uh, if, can you stay with us, Wayne? Next segment. We're going to come back. I think we're going to be able to keep uh, Wayne Madsen with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we're talking to Wayne Madsen. We have him for one more segment. Of course, this is a long segment. I want to talk to Wayne about ISIS. You know, it rhymes with crisis. We got trouble right here in River City. That's what we've been told by the GOP endlessly. Pushing ISIS. This is going to, you know, listen to Lindsey Graham. ISIS justifies everything that they do. We can destroy the rule of law. We can spend gazillions of dollars. We can start wars everywhere. You know, because ISIS, that's the magic word. That and national security just wave those words around with a magic wand, and they have carte blanche to do anything they want. We're going to talk about the phony narrative that we're being fed on ISIS. I want to break down this history, get some commentary from Wayne Madsen, who uh, analyzes this uh, from an intelligence standpoint. There's been a long long trail of information that we've gotten. Before we do, I just want to let you know again about the hourly special that we have here. Uh, it's 25% off Survival Shield X2, nascent iodine, and DNA Force. These are the things that we've been doing as part of our money bomb. We've extended the free shipping of the money bomb. We are now extending the process of doing some hourly specials throughout the show. This will uh, end in this uh, hour again. DNA Force is an exclusive antioxidant formula loaded with a compound bio PQQ backed by 175 clinical studies. Listen, we are proud 
of the ingredients of our products. Unlike the people who are selling you food 